Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a little bit about working with the layers palette over here. And uh, let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is that if you want to hide multiple layers, all you have to do is come over here and click the visibility icon, click it, and drag down and that's going to actually hide multiple layers. Now let's say we want to bring all those layers back. We click and we drag them up to bring them back. Now you can always drag them in different directions. It'll always work. Let's say I want to solo a layer and just work on one single layer. All I have to do is come down here and hold down the Alt or Option key if you're on a Mac. Click and you will only be working with that particular layer. It's kind of neat. Let's say you want to select a certain layer. So all you have to do, hold down Control or Command key if you're on a Mac, click the layers icon, and that layer is now selected and has a selection around it. Control or Command D to deselect or select deselect. Now let's say I want to change the blending mode of this specific layer. I come up here and I can change it manually. Or if I want to see the effects, done live I can use the up or down arrow keys on my PC machine and that'll change the blending modes now if you're on a Mac what you're gonna use is a shift plus and minus keys and that'll get you the same results now if you have a tool selected and as you can see up here it says mode if I click up here select that mode I can also change it, you know, for that specific tool. And I believe that when you're on a brush tool on a Mac and you hold down shift plus and minus, it should change the mode automatically for any tool that you have selected. Another thing, if you want to add layer styles, all you have to do is double click and your layer style window will pop up instead of having to come down here. If you want to duplicate a layer, click and drag it down to the new layer icon and you can move that around now. Click and drag it down to the trash can to delete it or hit delete on your keyboard. You can also create different groups. I'm going to come down here, click the group icon and click, hold on shift, select all the text and drag that into that group. Much more simple. Now whenever you add layer styles you always see this little drop down show up of effects and you can hide that by coming over here and clicking that little arrow. You can change the fill of the layer, opacity, you can even lock the layer. You can lock the layer's transparency, lock the layer's pixels, lock it from being moved, or lock all. Just simply hit the lock button and it'll be locked. If you want to delete that lock, just drag it down to the trash can. And finally, I just want to show you down here, you know, got the trash can, you got the new layer icon, you got the create a group icon, you got to create a new fill adjustment layer, create a layer mask, and add a layer style icon, which most of you should know if you've been working in Photoshop for a while. These are just a few little tips that could help you for a faster workflow. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.